my dear students for some questions there won't be any shortcut we have to follow the complete process but this is a most confusing question where i think 90 to 95 percent of the students will leave this question without attending without attending. now here this was an ask in 2019 neat okay so here if you see this question there is a string which was divided into three parts l1 l2 and l3 and what are the frequencies of each and every part n1 n2 and n3 where the lengths are l1 l2 and l3 these are the three parts and he's asking us to find out at what points the wedges are placed at this point at this point wedges are placed what are its lengths he's asking but overall length the total length is given as 100 centimeters in the problem itself isn't it and the frequency ratios are given and you know there is one formula n is equal to 1 by 2l root of t by mu so with this formula it is understood that frequency is inversely proportional to length if frequency ratios are given you can find out the length ratios what are the length ratios we shall discuss here you know length is inversely proportional to frequency that means l1 is to L2 is to L3 is equal to 1 by N1 is to 1 by N2 is to 1 by N3 which is nothing but L1 is to L2 is to L3 is 1 by 1 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 5 you have to make this reciprocal the ratios are in the form of fraction we have to take the proper ratios here what you have to do here now you have to take the LCM of these three numbers, okay, and you have to uh, multiply the LCM with the numerator so that you will get a proper ratios of lengths here. So, what is LCM? 3 5 of 15. So, you can just uh, write 15 by 1, 15 by 3, and 15 by 5. With this, you will get a ratio L1 is to L2 is to L3 is equal to 15 is to 5 is to 3. But it is said that the total length is 100 centimeters. What are we going to do now? Let us take 15x plus 5x plus 3x is equal to 100. Okay. So from this it is understood that the total is going to be 23x which is equal to 100. x equal to 100 by 23. Okay. Now you have to find out the ratios of the lens you want to find out l1 so l1 will become how much this is actually 15 so therefore you write 15 x and l2 if you consider it is going to be how much it is going to be 5 x so how are you going to find out that 15 x already you know the value of x as 100 by 23 so 15 into 100 by 23 is 1500 by 23 and 5 into x means 500 by 23 so 1500 by 23, 500 by 23 is going to be your correct answer. Hope you have understood this logic behind the problem where we can't apply certain short tricks in some problems. Hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.